Is the president going to go to Ohio, Kareem? I don't have a, at this time, I don't have anything to read out or, 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 um, uh, or announce on a, a travel to Ohio. Is it in discussion that the president may go there in the near future? I just don't have anything to share. I've spoken with every official in Ohio, Democrat and Republican, on a continuous basis, as in Pennsylvania, and I will be on the On East Palestine, not going to go, not visiting, no plans to visit. Not at this, uh, not at okay. this time. When is he going to be visiting East Palestine? And why hasn't he yet? So I think the plans are underway, discussions are underway, just don't have anything locked in at this time. As the president said, he will go uh, to East Palestine. I don't have any travel plans at this time uh, to announce uh, from here. Why has the president not made the visit out there? And at this point, is he just not going to? He's done a lot of travel in recent weeks and months. So I'm just going to repeat what the president said. He, he will travel uh, to the area, to East Palestine. Just don't have anything to share on travel or upcoming uh, dates that he'll be there. Be the derailment was on February 3rd. President Biden has not had a break since February 3rd. The president will go to East Palestine. He promised that he would, and he will. Uh, you saw him. On, uh, so he was not on a break when he was in Lake Tahoe? I will say this again. The president is going to go to East Palestine, as he has said that he is committed to do. Okay, stop the tease. Either go to East Palestine or don't. But stop saying you will if you have no intention of doing so. That's just not fair to the people who have been scared since February 3rd. That's when the small village community of East Palestine, population 4,700, and through no fault of its own, suffered a catastrophe. We're lucky it didn't happen where we live. They're unlucky because it happened where they live. About 50 cars of a Norfolk Southern freight train carrying hazardous chemicals derailed, causing an explosion and a fire. One day later, as toxic gases leaked into the air, water, and soil, a state of emergency was declared. And then on February 6, Ohio's Governor Mike DeWine ordered an evacuation as a controlled release of vinyl chloride was conducted. Since then, the citizens of East Palestine have continued to suffer from health problems, to loss of property value, to, of course, the fears about future health problems, their own and their children and their children's children. So now to the present time, seven months after the derailment, the cleanup continues, but a toxic chemical spill, will it ever be cleaned up 100%? And what about those who live there while the cleanup is underway? Should they be worried? Well, they are. Yes, the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency says the drinking water is safe, but be honest. Would you drink it? Would you feel comfortable serving it to your children because the government says, don't worry? So what can we do? Well, not a whole lot, except insist that the cleanup move as fast as possible to make East Palestine as safe as possible. That means money, as much money as possible and as quickly as possible to minimize the health risks associated with toxic chemicals that might remain in the soil and water. Back in July, Governor DeWine, with support from Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown, asked President Biden for a disaster declaration, which would mean more money, which would help accelerate the cleanup. But so far from the White House, crickets. The president has not signed a disaster declaration for East Palestine, which is disappointing. But what is also disappointing is that the president said he would visit East Palestine and see the crisis with his own eyes, but he hasn't. I've been to so many disasters, hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, you name it. And it's a mistake when early on, right after it's happened, that a president visits. For security reasons, for hours before and during a president's arrival, airspace around the crisis gets closed. That means cargo planes with emergency medicine, other supplies can't land and can't get those items to people who urgently need them. And of course, once the president lands, and again for security reasons, there's a long motorcade with the president's limousine followed by a line of vehicles with Secret Service. That likewise creates a problem for those trying to help people under emergency conditions. But let's face it, seven months later, we are so far beyond that point where a president's visit would inhibit recovery. In fact, the opposite is true. They need the president. They need him to see the crisis with his own eyes and talk to the people who live there. The president could just hop on Air Force One, take the 30-minute or so flight to East Palestine, walk down Air Force One steps, hop into the presidential limousine, drive to Village Center or the derailed tracks area, walk the area for just 15 minutes, look around, and just talk to the citizens of East Palestine. It's such a simple gesture, but it means so much. It tells these villagers he cares, the nation cares, and that they're not alone. As president, he represents all Americans. That's just part of the job. He went to Maui because that's part of the job and good for him. He went to Florida because that's part of the job and good for him. Going to East Palestine is likewise part of the job. Plus, don't forget, he promised. By the way, I don't buy this. Well, I haven't had the occasion to go to East Palestine. There's a lot going on. 
here, and I just haven't been able to break. I was thinking whether I'd go to East Palestine this week, but I then was reminded I've got to go literally around the world. I'm going from uh, from Washington to India to Vietnam to, and so I, it's going to be a while. But uh, we're making sure that East Palestine has what they need materially in order to deal with their problems. Okay, I don't buy this. Not at all. It's not true that he's not had an occasion. And note, I'm not showing you some snarky beach picture, which some of you no doubt have floating in your mind as you listen to me, because he is entitled to a vacation. But I also know he's been back in D.C., and the trip to East Palestine is a very short trip. Plus, he has a taxpayer-funded plane, Air Force One, to take him. And to make it even easier and faster, he has a helicopter at his disposal, Marine One, to take him from the lawn of the White House, where he lives, right to Air Force One at Joint Base Andrews. So why is this so important? Because I suspect if he sees East Palestine with his own eyes and talks to the people and listens to their fears, he will sign that emergency declaration and will give the community the money that would help them. And if he doesn't, that's on him. This is the record. Sunday marks seven months since the Norfolk Southern train derailment in that time cleanup efforts in East Palestine resulted in more than 100,000 tons of contaminated soil and more than 32 million gallons of liquid waste to be shipped off site. But how are the residents doing? East Palestine, Ohio resident Eric Koza has been our guest before and he's back now tonight with an update. Eric, tell me, how is the community doing? Um, it's still It's a divided community. Um, you know, a lot of the people um, just want to go on with their lives, and a lot of people is getting sick. Tell me, um, you know, I just went through a long discussion about whether President Biden has kept his promises to go to East Palestine. Does the community want him there? I mean, this, I mean maybe, you know, would it be helpful, do you think, if President Biden showed up? I think what would be more helpful is the EPA to um, do some uh, testing, some soil samples, um, some home air testing. Um, the federal EPA came in um, and tested my soil. Um, formaldehyde showed up. They said it was inconclusive because they didn't do a levels check, but yet I can't even get them to come in and check how, you know, how much of this is in my soil. Okay, would it be helpful if President Biden showed up and you said to him, how about sending the EPA here to check the soil? Would that be something you'd want? I, at this point, I, I, I don't know. Um, the, the fact of Biden not being here in seven months, a lot has changed. Um, he, uh, you know, he's made promises to come here. We haven't even received a bottle of water from federal support. It's been all non, uh, you know, the nonprofits and agencies around, you know, town or across the United States at that. Have you noticed any uh, people like they have any health issues? I mean, look, I, you know, I, I know the whole. I know the EPA said your water is safe, but I must admit I'd be a little worried about drinking that water. And maybe it's just me. But, um, and, but uh, go ahead. Are we we're still having children with bloody noses, um, rashes. My fiance has broke out into these blister lesions. That's why the federal EPA came to my home to test my soil in the first place. Um, there, there's a lot of health issues. Uh, is the community the uh, is it getting uh, are they moving this the train company are they moving soil out of there and are they actively working every day um they, to be honest with you we don't see much anymore um you know they 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 hide a lot they work at night um the the federal EPA is saying everything's safe um our waterways um our, our water is good even the cricks, um, there was a large fish kill, and they blamed it on a bridge being taken out. But yet, you can go down the crick and take a stick, and chemicals just, uh, when I say it's grossly contaminated, seven months later, it's grossly contaminated. Eric Cosa, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you come back, and I hope next time we talk, uh, you'll have more of a federal response there um, to try to make that community safer. After thank you, Mayor, for thank having you, me on, because... 
if it wasn't for you guys, um, we I think this would be swept under the rug. I appreciate you guys um, still looking into us. Well, you know how to find us. Thank you, sir.